Hi, it is the human operating system time. So today I like to share with you something very critical for Wing Chun. And uh, I like you to watch this video as a technical discussion. And I don't want you to take what I'm saying as the truth. You must not. Think about it. See whether what I'm saying making any sense or not. If what I'm saying makes sense, then it is time to change, to upgrade, to update. So uh, this is a purely technical discussion based on evidence, okay? Now, this morning I woke up getting a line message from a traditional Chinese martial art friend from Asia. This friend is uh, teaching internal martial arts and uh, one of my uh, very good friends in, uh, in, in Asia. So he asked me this. He showed me a presentation and he said, Hendrik, is this true for Wing Chun? So the presentation he sent me is about a Wing Chun Sifu share his view on the Wing Chun. Namely, his view is that in the uh, recent Wing Chun compete with the MMA, uh, the Wing Chun practitioner lost because number one lack of sparring lack of sparring the second is do not have power in their punch so that is the uh, the, the reason this Wing Chun uh, Sifu presenting so my Asia traditional Chinese martial art internal art friends asked me and I'm going to share with you what I told him this morning okay is it true that Wing Chun lost and I like to uh, clarify here when I said Wing Chun is the so-called general type of Wing Chun. Okay, it not applied to every Wing Chun, but general uh, uh, Wing Chun in the market where we know. Okay, like a, in look like in the movie in the market we know. Okay, those type of Wing Chun where say. 80% or, or 90% of people practicing that, okay? Now, is that true that, is that true that technically, if Wing Chun people or you in, introduce massive sparring into Wing Chun, and get the Wing Chuners to punch harder then you can solve this problem of where uh, lost to the MMA competitions in the past two years so I question that okay so one the, the one thing is that Hey, you know, the Wing Chuners do not spar enough, they never spar. And then another one is that, you know, uh, is they, they are not punching hard enough. Well, what I want to share with you is, this is all not true. 
It is not a solution. It cannot be a solution. And let me share with you why, by evidence, okay? About 40 years ago, when I was young and I was uh, still uh, practice Kyokushin, because I practiced Kyokushin, uh, uh, Judo and, uh, and, and, and Wing Chun in the same time when I was a teenager, you take a look at the Wing Chun practitioner fighting in the uh, Kyokushin Open Tournament in Japan. You take a look at that. It is not true that his punch is not powerful. And it is not true that he doesn't have sparring experience. Just take a look in the YouTube on the Kyokushin versus Wing Chun, which is uh, late 1970s. Okay, take a look at it. Now, 1996, when Wing Chun practitioner fought in the UFC, got picked down and so forth, you look at the Wing Chun practitioner. Is that true that they never sparring and their punch is not heavy enough? Again, it is not true. Now, look at last year when Xi Xiaotong defeat Ding Hao in China. You look at Ding Hao. Ding Hao is doing his best. His punch is powerful. He has a lot of sparring experience. But he lost. So from early or, or late early 1980s or late 1970s, you can see the thing happen again, again, and then again. And then when something lost, people always blaming on those Wing Chuners who fought really hard in the competition. Well, of course, it's easy, right? I'm sitting here, you know, in a cozy place. I can critique what the heck I want. Oh, your punch is not strong enough. Your, uh, uh, you don't spar enough. Well, it's easy. But with almost this uh, 1980 and today, almost 2020, the 40 years of track records, you see that there is a problem there with the Wing Chun. As what it is in the general public. Okay. Now, so what is the problem? The first thing, this type of Wing Chun do not have a impose momentum characteristics. So what do I mean by that? If you look at BJJ, they have a certain way to play momentum or impose momentum. You look at Thai boxing, they have that. You look at uh, Western boxing, they have that. You look at Kyokushin, they have that. They fight in the way how they train, in other words. You look at the Kyokushin guy. When they fight, they fight how they, uh, what they train, with what they train. A BJJ guy, same thing. An anime guy, same thing. Now look into the Wing Chun. Do you fight the same as what you train? The answer is no. And also, is the, this type of Wing Chun like you see in the movie fight like what the ancient the Shaolin Sword Strike based art as I put in Wing Chun Matrix present? The answer is no. Okay? It is this obvious. So what are you training? What type of impulse momentum are you training? 
Why if we keep in saying that, oh, Wing Chun is Tan Bong Fu, like in the movie? Well, what is your momentum? What is your momentum type? You look at the Thai boxer, you look at the BJJ, you look at the uh, Western boxing, you look at the Kyokushin. Just look at it. The train that way, the train hard, handling the momentum that way, they fought that way. How about Wing Chun? You can watch a lot of uh, Wing Chun videos. Uh, oh yeah, you know, like in the Asia competition, oh they win. But did they use Wing Chun or what did they use? Then people can explain, oh yeah, this is Wing Chun, there's Wing Chun. But is it a short strike, sticking body short strike? Or you are using the same long face punch like, uh, like, 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 uh, like uh, other martial arts? And you use BJJ. What is face it? Okay. What is your impulse momentum type or uniqueness? Short strike prior to 1850s or 1850s, it is in this, in, in, in this book where I quote the ancient writing. So that's number one. What is your uh, impulse momentum characteristic and uniqueness? Or what is the best you have? when you have the chance to do your job. The BJJ will take you to the ground. That's the best, their best. The Western boxing, they have their, their best, right? Number one. Number two. Again, as in this book, I talk about the four momentum zone, which exists since 1560s. The four momentum zone. You look at the uh, Western boxing, they cover the long face zone and then they cover the, 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 uh, the, the short strike zone with the hook and so forth. You look at the BJJ, they cover both and they are very good in close the, the short strike zone, okay? Take down and so forth. You look at Kyokushin, they are really good in the long range where they use the sweep to take out the, the, the legs of the opponent and go close with the with, with exchange the, the face in the close range of the short strike zone. Now look at it. What does Wing Chun have? Since the late 1970s until year ago Ding Hao fight Xi Xiaotong in China. You can see Ding Hao uh, 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 fist is a long fist range. Xi Xiaotong get in, slips into the short strike zone and then a few times throw or take the, uh, the, 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 the Ding Hao down to the ground and the judge have to go down there to protect Ding Hao because if it go down to the ground doing the, 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 the ground fighting, Ding Hao is over. So that uh, the, the, uh, the judge is sealing off that this not happen. Okay? Obviously you see that Ding Hao have a lot of good punch, uh, a, a, strong, a strong strike, and Ding Hao uh, have good experience. However, he doesn't have the tools to do the job. He doesn't have the complete four momentum zone tools. That's a reality. We cannot blame Ding Hao. Hey, Ding Hao, you're bad. You, you're not my student. You blah, 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 blah. You're not Wing Chun. We cannot do that. The guy is trying his best. Okay, we have to be honest. This is technical stuff, right? But he doesn't have the tools to play with a, a uh, 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 Xi Tong. So what to blame? So instead of blaming, we need to learn. Hey, you know, we got a problem here. It's like the Apollo 13, okay? If you watch the movie, say, hey, Houston, we got a problem here. We need to bring the guy back safely. Now, the third one. 
you look at the MMA guys, the like the even the boxing guy in the who who, who participate in the Olympic sports and so forth, they train dynamically, condition their body in terms of training load and recovery. They train themselves in different heart rate zone. Namely, they expect when they fought, they will get into 90 to 100% of their maximum heart rate. And then they train in the heart rate zone of aerobic and anaerobic and recovery. The keeping trained that way. And then they do autostatic tests on their body on both the uh, loading of the training and the recovery. The cardio, the body in dynamic. So we have this handling. And then they do, they do the heart rate variability to check their conditions, their training, to support that. Okay. Now, what, what, what do you guys do in Wing Chun? You chi sao, standing there. You practice Yu Lim Tao, standing there, clamping your leg, make a structure. And then you say, well, you know, I have this magic mind power magic uh, fudging like in Tai Chi and then have the, this magic uh, uh, straighten my spine uh, uh, tighten my anus what the heck is this that's why I say this is a chest heart rate monitor throw one of this in doing a, a, a heart rate zone training or putting all this gadget like this one will do auto Static, the Polar uh, Vantage V, and all this uh, measure the, the, the heart rate variability on your handling of autonomic systems and your, 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 your cardio and so forth. With this kind of gadget, see what today in general the Wing Chun training compare with the MMA or the Olympic athlete training? Well, the answer is it is very obvious you don't have that training compared with the MMA guy. Okay? So if you watch my, 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 my video lately, I keep bringing out the, the, uh, the, the heart rate variability, the, the, heart, rate, uh, the heart rate profile, you know, which is actually uh, involved the autostatic test and everything where this is common use in the, the sport. is because we need to know what is going on. You cannot say, oh, my Sifu said this is the, uh, the, the ancient, uh, authentic Wing Chun's top secret. Okay, I have this mind power, this spine handling, this anus, uh, 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 hand, uh, uh, lifting and all this thing. While well, you look at those MMA guy and, and, and uh, the Olympic player, did they have to do that? But they can rise up. Their heart rate can go up 100% of their maximum heart, heart rate. They can recover, they know all kind of stuff. Body is conditioned that way. How to face that? Why is uh, in, in, in recently I, I brought up in the vi uh, video on the heart rate profile and the uh, heart rate variability and uh, you know all this thing, momentum stuff. The ancient know this, the reality. Like in over here, I have this 2C state, which is actually prepare one dynamically for this type of test or body conditioning. The engine no. Okay. So, in the conclusion, 
Wing Chun have a problem. Technically have a problem being in the uh, impulse momentum uniqueness in the tools to handling handling or to face the opponent and the body condition. Now when these three things you strike it off, how are you going to face them in tournament? You might say, you know what, this guy can face it, that guy. Okay. Maybe one out of one hundred. One out of 1,000, but how you look in the average? Is that 99% of the people will not do it, not be able to do it if you, if you don't handle this three area I just shared properly. So this is why I, I, I share with uh, my friend in, uh, in Asia. Realistically, you look into things. Only we know what is the problem, we can fix it. We can, we can bring a solution in. Do I have all the solution? Of course, I don't have all the solution. But we know the ancient. We know the modern. We know what is like this type of stuff, you know, the testing, the condition, and all this thing. What well, merge it? Fuse the ancient and today's science. Get back the tools. Get back the, uh, the, 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 the characteristics of Wing Chun. Get back the training. And now we have modern tools, modern science tools to help us train. Only then we can face the opponent, face the competition, face the challenge. Not necessarily we will win, but at least we powered it. Go back to uh, 1560 again. <clears throat> General Chi Chi Kuang have to look closely into the Japanese pirates fighting game and uh, in different level, including how to uh, how is the the, 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 the the making of the Japanese samurai sword where the Chinese sword cannot handle it. One samurai sword chop can break two. Chinese, uh, 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 the sword. How are you going to fight? And when people told me about this internal Taoist and all this, I said that's bullshit. If you have that, General Chi Chi Kuang will not have to do that. Look into the methodology of the uh, of the of the Japanese samurai sword. Look into the. The, the, the characteristics, the tools of the samurai sword and then evolve and only after that he defeated the Japanese pirate it's in the history the Shaolin monk come down from the Songsan to fought the uh, Japanese they still cannot Handle it. Not until General Chi Chi Kuang reformed the entire thing. See exactly what happened. So, this is what I'd like to share with you today. There's no easy way out. And there's no easy way to say, hey, that guy lost because uh, he didn't punch uh, uh, hard enough, uh, he didn't have uh, much sparring, or uh, you need to use this uh, moving your center of gravity like Tai Chi, fudging like Tai Chi. Why you look at the Tai Chi guy versus Xi Xiao Tong, what happened? Same thing. No momentum, impose momentum characteristics. When Xi Xiaotong rushed into the lay, 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 have no idea what to do, only back off. When Lei Lei get down to the ground, there's no tools to handle everything. So, so it is about technology. It is about, do you see the entire issue? Only if we see the issue, we know the solution and we need to reform 
we need to uh, upgrade update nothing stands still there like oh you know i have this art uh, 100 years ago it is the ultimate art you study this then you can defeat everybody you can handle all the problem there's no such thing as using 100 years ago solution to solve today's problem not in technology and not in martial art it never happened okay read the history check in the history so this is to share with you okay don't take me as I know it all but think about it go watch all those videos the videos of Wing Chun versus Kyokushin uh, UFC Xi Xiao Tong and see what I'm saying is is, is uh, stick to the reality or not it's a court to the reality or not okay so this is to share with you today and uh yeah the momentum or, or so forth you know for those who are not familiar the sword strike is here you know I, so i don't have to go explain more to the, in this thing okay <laughs>